Hi, my name is Latish Segal and this is going to be a short introduction on Firebug. Firebug is a really popular extension for Firefox that really helps you with web development. Once you install it, it'll show up under extensions in Firefox. After installing Firebug, you can go to any web page and press F12 and the Firebug console will pop up at the bottom. It has a bunch of different tabs and I'll give a brief introduction to each of them. In the HTML tab, if you click on the uh, select HTML element button here on the left hand side and then hover over any HTML on the web page, you can see the corresponding markup in the bottom. This markup is actually editable so I can come in here and make changes and see the updates being made in real time. On the right hand side you can see the CSS that's currently being applied to the selected element and just like the markup this is also editable so I can come in here and make changes and see them in real time. The computer tab allows inspecting the computed CSS values of the currently selected DOM node. If I go to the layout tab I can understand the margin and the border and the padding being applied to the current currently selected element. Lastly, the DOM tab allows inspecting and manipulating the DOM properties of the selected DOM node. If I move to the CSS tab on the left hand side, I can see all the CSS files that have been downloaded for this web page and I can again edit them here. Similarly, the script tab shows me all the JavaScript files that have been downloaded for this web page. I can actually place breakpoints in the JavaScript code here. So if I, um, if I select the JavaScript file that I use for rendering my tables here and place a breakpoint here, on refreshing the page my breakpoint gets hit and I can actually step through the code just like I can in any IDE like Visual Studio. On the right hand side in the watch tab I can look at all the variables in scope right now and I can also add my own expressions to watch. The stack tab lets me look at the current execution stack. If I select the DOM tab I can inspect and edit the different DOM properties. The net tab shows me all the resources like images and JavaScript files and HTML that have been downloaded for this web page and if I'm trying to optimize the loading time of a page, this is a good place to look to see what's really slowing down a web page or what all is being downloaded for each web page. Under the cookies tab, I can edit and inspect different cookie values. The last tab that you see here, Yslow, is actually a plugin for Firebug. So it's a, it's a plugin for a plugin, essentially. If I click on run, Yslow evaluates my web page against different criteria and gives a grading to my web page. It will also give me some suggestions on how I can improve the performance. So in this case, you can see that I, this web page got a C grade. If I go and change the rule set that it's applying right now to being that of, um, to evaluate it like a small blog or a website, then you can see that the grading that it gave me changes and even the, uh, even the suggestions that it's giving me change slightly. Weissler also gives you a bunch of different tools that let you beautify your JavaScript or compress your images. Lastly, if I go to the console tab, I can run JavaScript in real time here. So I can, um, I have access to jQuery since it's already downloaded as part of my web page. And I can select the header elements Similarly, I can run more code against this web page. So if I run slight toggle against the selected header elements, you'll see the you'll see those you'll see the corresponding HTML elements slide in and out. The console tab also gives you access to a profiler. And so if I press the profile button, it's profiling all the JavaScript code that's running. So if I go and write some text here in my filtering text box and then stop my profiler, I can see all the JavaScript that was run during that time and 
and I can see what's taking the most time to execute. So again, if you're trying to optimize for performance, this is a good place to look. If you enjoyed this screencast, please consider subscribing to updates on this website via RSS or via email.